me and karma we don't really have that good of a history so let me explain the story to you i was on my way down here i'm in west memphis arkansas i just did a 34 hour reset i stopped at a petro right outside of kansas city just east of kansas city on i-70 there's a kc's uh, baby back ribs like barbecue joint i ordered a burnt end sandwich and a side of beans that's it when I left, I was walking back to the truck stop and I had the bag and I was like, man, this thing is heavy. Like, they hooked it up. I opened the bag up and they gave me a trucker special, which is a half slap of ribs, like a pound of pulled pork, a half pound of burnt ends, two sides. And that meal is like $36 or something. I didn't pay that much. I, I didn't even pay half that. I wanted to take it back because I just know that if I was to eat this food, something bad is gonna happen. My girl was like, no, they, they messed it up. If you take it back, they're, uh, they're just gonna throw it away. You might as well just eat it. Something hasn't been sitting right with me ever since. I just got like this feeling and I wanna get rid of it. So, after I deliver this load, I'm gonna come back over here to Memphis, pick up a load, and then I'm taking that up to Washington State. I'm gonna go back up 55, up to 70, go 70 west i'm gonna stop in kansas city and i'm gonna pay for this trucker special but i'm gonna get my sandwich i loaded this trailer with a with the shipper and I'm getting paid to unload and they told me I didn't have to do nothing so I don't know what that's about but if it starts taking too long <laughs> you better believe I'm jumping back there just went back there asking if they wanted my help or if they needed my help or if I was supposed to help they said nope we'll let you know whenever we need you to do something okie doke I'm unloading here in Olive Branch, Mississippi, and then my next load is uh, 20 miles away in Memphis, Tennessee. Picking up some hazmat, taking it to uh, Moxie, Washington. I think that's how you say it, Moxie. I haven't ran the Western 11 that much. Never ran it in the winter. I went over to Washington once. I rode 80 all the way over from Columbus, Ohio. Me and the guy I was uh, on a truck with when I first started at Abilene, we went from Columbus, Ohio to somewhere in Oregon. That's the only time I've ever been up there in the uh, northern western region. The rate on the load is okay. I can do better just running the Midwest. But I wanted to get some uh, get some new views, you know? Seeing the same thing over and over again, that's, that's not why I got into this. I got into this to go see the country. Plus my girl needs some more magnets, so. I didn't, I didn't do the magnet thing when I went over there the first time. She's gonna get Wyoming, Utah, Oregon, Washington, and Montana, I think. All right, that's it for that. Uh, they did that pretty quick. It was a lot faster coming out than it was going in. But right now what I'm doing is I'm uh, messaging the agent, telling him I departed. I'm also gonna email him a copy of the proof of delivery, and I'm gonna upload the proof of delivery to uh, Landstar so I can get my money. It's easy as that. On to the next one, baby. About to head into the Badlands. Alright. Gotta do a safety check. In the first uh, 50 miles, and then every 150 miles after that, when you pull a hazmat load, gotta do a safety check. And it's annoying. And I get it, it's supposed to keep you safe and make sure everything's all right. But it's really cramping my style today. I'm trying to make it to that Petro in Kansas City. I'm gonna shut down there tonight. I'm gonna get right with this karma. All right, we did that safety check. I'm gonna go ahead and grab me a bubbly water. I switched to LaCroix. Got the coconut this time. Good stuff. All right, let's keep on going. Uh, 
I don't know, I got like 430 miles or something, and I have 7 hours and 42 minutes, so shouldn't be a problem, but still want to hustle. I want to knock down as many miles as I can. This is a, uh, today is Monday, uh, February 14th, it's Valentine's Day. I picked this load up, it can deliver anytime this week until Friday, and the place isn't open Saturday or Sunday. I'm trying to get it off on Thursday, so I can relocate over to Seattle and then pick up a load on Friday deliver that on Monday which is why I want to get to Kansas City tonight so I can take care of this karma issue and uh, and do that on my 10 hour break that way I don't have to be stopping tomorrow and dealing with this and dealing with that another problem is they close at 9 it's 1 o'clock so that means I got less than 8 hours to get there I think we can do it though so I just logged my uh, safety check so down the road we go safety check which drove 100 and something miles 150 or something like that Once you start running long haul, I mean like 150 miles, really? I'm trying to run like, I mean if I want to, I could sit in this seat and run 500 straight. So this is like, it's killing me man. One more safety check and then after that we can drive into uh, to the Petro. Let's go. Okay, here I am again did another safety check uh, I got 120 miles left until I get to the Petro that's outside of the barbecue place that I need to go to to make everything balanced in the universe I would have kept going but I only have two hours and three minutes on my uh, drive clock right now so I'm waiting for my half hour break to be up so that I can get back 27 minutes that's all I get back uh, for the day but I need it because I average 60 miles an hour. That's how I plan all my trips. 60 miles an hour gives me a three minute cushion and that's a little too close for me. Another reason why I need this to happen tonight is because they don't open until tomorrow at 10.30 a.m. And if I don't take care of this today, it could be, who knows when it could be before I come back here and, uh, and take care of this situation. I need it to happen today. So I'm stressed out about it right now. I don't know if you can tell, but I, I kind of stressed out about it because I need to make things right. Made it to the Petro with a couple minutes to spare, baby. Feeling good about this. <laughs> By eating those ribs, the universe got tipped to one side. I'm about to balance it out. You know I like balance. You know I like balance. <laughs> The other day I came in here and I ordered a sandwich and uh, they gave me a trucker special on accident. Okay. Can I pay for the trucker special and just get the sandwich? Uh, yeah. Alright. Here's that and I appreciate the honesty. Yeah, no problem. A lot of people would have just been like, okay, I got more for less. <laughs> see that? That's the proof right there. You see that universe? I got the proof. Back up off me, man. I 
balanced it out. Did it. Did I feel so much better now. Oh man. It was eating me alive inside. There it is. That's what I went for originally. I got it. This was a $41 sandwich. Well, technically not because I did get the food, but I didn't want the food. I got it. Got the sandwich. We balanced it out. No bad karma for your boy DJ. And now I can go on with my 1,760 miles carefree. It's going to be a great trip. I know it. Yes.